this series of videos that I am making specially for you, I am trying to explain to you what are the various tests that are done when you come for your diabetes checkup, why we do them and the significance of the tests and how to interpret the test so that when you look at your result, you will also be able to understand it better. Today let me talk about liver function tests. Liver is a very important organ because if that is affected, the liver is referred to as the factory in the body where so many things are produced, good things, bad things. The liver has to get rid of all the bad substances, produce a lot of good things and therefore if the liver is not functioning, your life itself can be in danger. So it's very important to assess the liver function test. Moreover, certain medicines that we give, for example, the statins which are given for cholesterol might slightly change the liver function. Nothing serious, but it might change. So for somebody for whom we have started on a statin, we would like to see whether the liver function is showing any change. Moreover, there is a condition called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. This fatty liver is a condition which is seen in anybody who is overweight or obese. The moment you put on weight, fat starts accumulating in the liver. By doing a simple liver function test, we can find out whether there is fat in the liver or not. Of course, the best test for that is the ultrasound test about which I'll talk in a subsequent video. But today I'm going to talk about the liver function test. If you look at the liver function test report which is given to you, you will find that there are many tests mentioned under that. Why are so many tests being done? The first one right on top, it will be written as serum bilirubin. Now serum bilirubin is normally 0 0.8, 0 0.9 or less than 1. If this value becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., it means that you have jaundice or you have hepatitis. Now, hepatitis or jaundice is of different types. You can have type A hepatitis, type B hepatitis, hepatitis C and so on and so forth. But in all these types, the bilirubin is normally increased. Of course, there is one condition called as congenital hyperbilirubinemia where you may have a slight increase in the bilirubin 1.5 or 2 that is from birth and that's a harmless condition. So once we pick that up, we'll write in the case sheet saying this is a harmless condition, then we won't worry about it. But if the bilirubin goes up, it means that you've got jaundice. But that is not the commonest thing which becomes abnormal. If you go further down in the liver function test, you will find tests called as SGOT and SGPT. Some labs will call it as AST and ALT. These two tests tell you whether the liver is functioning normally or not. Suppose your liver is not working properly, suppose there is more fat in the liver or suppose there is an infection or if you have jaundice itself, this SGOT and SGPT may go up. I mentioned the condition called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In that condition also, the SGOT and SGPT may go up. Sometimes when you take these statin tablets, slightly it may go up, but that is normal. We don't have to worry. Let's say the normal value for the laboratory that you are visiting is 30 or 35. Normally up to 35 or 40 of SGOT and SGPT we take as normal. If it is 45, you don't have to worry. If it is two to three times more than normal, suppose it becomes 80 or 120, then we must find out what is doing, what is causing this. Sometimes medicines can cause this. Sometimes certain foods that you take can cause this. Sometimes it could be due to jaundice. Sometimes it could be due to something else. So we will have to find, sometimes it could be due to just fatty liver. If we find that, then we will have to be very careful when we write certain tablets because certain tablets can have some changes in the liver. And it's very important to keep checking it. Now, some of you say, why are you checking my liver function test? You keep questioning everything that we do, okay? Suppose, let me say you are on a tablet and you are, which can show some changes in the body and we don't check it at all. What will happen? Three months later, you come back, we have not checked it. Next time also, you don't want it, we don't check it. One year later, when you check it, you suddenly find the liver function has become extremely abnormal, okay? The SGOT, SGPT, for example, become 200, 300, 400. We have missed a long period 
where something could have been done to improve your liver function test. Now, if you lose weight, if you control your diabetes well, many of these liver parameters can come back to normal. And that's the reason why after starting treatment, we'd like to see whether there is improvement and it has come back to normal. There is another test you'll find, total protein. And then it will find another test called albumin and globulin. These tell you how much of protein is there in the body. It's very important to have enough of albumin and protein in the body. Suppose from your kidney, you're losing a lot of protein. Every day you're losing a lot of albumin and protein. Suddenly that serum protein will start coming down. And suppose that albumin and globulin, if you see, normally the albumin will be two times that of the globulin. Suppose the albumin is four, the globulin will be two. Suppose both become equal, both become 2.5 both become three or the globulin becomes more than the albumin, it means you've got chronic liver disease. Not only you've got liver disease, you've had it for a long time, maybe six months, one year or more, and it indicates chronic liver disease. So without touching you, just by looking at your liver function, we will know whether it is uh, high or normal, whether the liver is acutely injured or chronically injured or whether it is normal, which is what we want. There are also other tests called alkaline phosphatase. There's another test called as gamma GT. Okay, this gamma GT test normally goes up when the SGOT and SGPT go up. It also goes up when people drink. I told you that there is a condition called as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But if you drink a lot of alcohol, then alcoholic fatty liver disease can also come. And one way to know that is to measure your gamma GT in the liver function test. So as you can see, it's not just one thing that the liver function is telling you, it tells you so many things. And suppose this simple blood test gives us an indication, then we can immediately go on to study the ultrasound to see whether there is fatty liver in that. There is also other tests where we can find out the stiffness of the liver. All these are additional tests which we can do if we find something abnormal in the liver function test. So next time, Make sure that even if we forget to get your liver function test done at least once in three months or at least once in six months, make sure that your liver function test is done. Thank you so much.